Well, good day, guys. Welcome to the channel. We're here at the main farm. In the last video, it uh, had just sort of started raining. Um, I think we ended up with about 11 mil at the development block. So it was just mushy, muddy, everything there. So we've come back to the main farm. We've got the grader here. Um, there's a couple of things that we need to just figure out with that. There's making a bit of a noise. So we're going to do that. Hopefully it's nothing too major. Now there is some developments happening. Fine. Got the grader here and we've got Josiah's legs there, which I'm hoping the rest of him's under there somewhere. There he is. And uh, what's the go, Brad? What's happening with the old girl? Well, there's our field. There's a bit of metal in the tranny and a bit of metal in the diff, so that's the diff one. Oh, yep. Yeah. You can see a few sparkles. Basically, the there's been a bit of a whirring happening um, in certain gears, I think, so seeing if we can get a bit more of a grip on the situation. The backlash on the diff's a bit high, so we're just pulling the faceplate off and Doing a bit of fiddling. See what the pinion and crown wheel looks like. Oh. Yeah. Because how many hours, how many hours has this machine got? Oh, it's nearly up to 14,000. Yeah, so 14,000 hours and... We're not sure where the train's been done. But yeah. The engine's definitely been done. Yeah, I think the engine was rebuilt how many thousand hours ago? Yeah, so we got this with a fairly recent rebuilt engine in it, um, but I, we don't think the transmission's been touched, so... Um, and I don't think you can get a transmission for it any, anywhere, but or it's very difficult at least. So um, we're hoping it's not that, but see what eventuates. The other thing is, when the grader's here, that means Robbo's back. Don't hide Robbo. <laughs> well, he, he's, we usually ask him what wise words he's got, so what's the wise words for today? Oh, no wise words. A bit of stress. Bit of stress. You've been yeah. on the phone, yeah. organising parts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going through it, going through the motions, try to find a problem here. Yeah. That we can iron out, get a bit of a noise out of her. Yeah. So you're saying it was only in the sort of higher gears. There's a bit of a bit of yeah, a whine from, happening. From fifth gear and up, she yeah. wants to start howling. Yeah. And the further you go up in range, the louder she gets. Whether it's the pinion, crown wheel. Yeah. Or a bit of a tranny problem. We yeah, yeah. To find. So the only thing we have found that. What Brad said earlier was the um, bit of uh, the free play on the diff. Yeah, that was that was a bit bit excessive. So it might be that, or just a bearing. Yeah, bring it then, back in the line, you know. Yeah, and then you'll be you'll be flying all over the countryside again, eh? Oh, we'll be right then, mate. Get rid of a, get rid of a bit of a noise. She'll be yeah. laughing. Yeah. Uh, why don't you just wear some earmuffs in there? Yeah, he's past that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't turn the radio up loud enough. <laughs> I can fix that. <laughs> Big speakers in yeah. It. <laughs> no. So anyway, hopefully it's a fairly relatively simple fix. But yeah, and to be honest about it, the amount of work that we've done with her and the running around travel time, yeah. it's, she's done fairly well. She's pretty hard on stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And the conditions we've been in lately yeah. with this wet year, yeah, it's it's just phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're asking a lot of them, eh? Hey? Just ev ev yeah. absolutely every bit of machinery, tractors, yep. earth moving, anything in in wet conditions and that it's yeah. it's never good for it. Yeah no it puts a lot of load on things yeah. not a matty. Yeah. That's for sure. Well let's get into it. Oh, mate. Righto guys we got the um, pinion out of the diff so I pulled the face plate out plate out. Um, there was just a bit too much backlash and um, we've found the, the reason for that. Um, you can see that there is nasty. So obviously the crown wheel is going to be damaged as well. So, um, so we're just I've only just sort of found this out in the last half an hour, so uh, I'm trying to work out the different options. Um, you might be wondering why it's green. Um, apparently these run a John Deere, well they're a John Deere grader obviously, but it runs a, um, a I think it's a 9000 series um, tractor diff. So that's why it's green and then just been painted yellow. Um, so yeah, we are just got to chase the options to find out what we can do. Yeah, I think the grader's going to be out of action for a little while, so um, just with all the difficulties with getting parts and that, we're just hoping that it, um, yeah, we can get something organised fairly soon, but um, it is what it is. So, we've got 
all the fellas here having a meeting. You look comfy. What's the next plan of attack, Brad? Go home and have a bit of an emotional moment. <laughs> it's a bit like that, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, we're just working out the best way to tackle uh, getting it out. I can't get the diff centre out without getting the final drawers off first, so that's the problem. I was hoping we may be able to just uh, unbolt the diff centre and rip her out, but it's, uh, you know, I've got to pull the tanner boxes off and everything like that. Yeah, so you're thinking you might might be able to pull the whole lot off and lift the back of it up and roll the whole tandem side of it away. If we can get to the mount bolts, it might be easier just lifting the back of the machine up and rolling the whole tandem out. Yeah, but that's just a running theory at the moment. <laughs> yes. So it comes to uh, ground. Yeah. Well, that explains the noise though. And it's, it's not a transmission, so that's well, I guess that's good. You got enough noises in your head. This was different, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I was starting to fun Panadol foundation. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll scoot under here. Have a look. It's a bit dark, but that's the, the dip in there. So. Um, if we can undo all that system and bolt it from the frame um, and then yeah if we can lift the whole back of the machine up then um, that very well may this whole thing might be able to roll out and um, that means it would be a lot easier to work on. Well guys that'll be it for the day um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Well things are progressing with the grader here um, looks like we're going to be able to pop it up, lift the whole back end up and slide the whole um, axles and final drives and diff everything that whole component out. But still got Robbo here, he's the last man standing, everyone else has taken off for lunch. Have a feed. Yeah, it's a bit rude. I think we've pretty well got the other side all ready to go. A um, couple of hoses but there's just these bolts there, two there two there um, and there's some more bolts on the front which are all out as well but um, on the other side there's a coolant metal coolant pipe that runs along on top of those bolts so that's going to be a bit of a challenge to get that one out um, but once that's out it should should go pretty good I think now over here Brad's been working on this um, this is the header uh, transmission so it is just about ready to go back in I think um, so we're able to get a new shaft and bits and pieces, so that's all all back together, which is nice. So it's a moment of truth. We're just trying to see whether we can lift up the whole back of the machine here, um, up and off the um, diff and the, the tandem setup there. Um, and then once it's up high enough, we can um, st put stands under it or whatever, and we can roll the tandem and diff and everything underneath, and that way it'll make it a lot easier to work on. So we should have everything undone and we'll see how we go. Well that worked, got a stand at the back here, got a stand in the middle, a jack in the middle I should say, and um, yeah we were able to get this all out so we can see the diff and everything all in there. So that'll be the next job is pull that all apart. That might be it for the day, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Well another morning, um, it's uh, just actually it was a bit overcast but it's lifted now so we've got a bit of sunshine. Got Phil on the phone, his favourite place. 
Robbo and Josiah washing hands ready for Smoko. Brad's on the phone, typical. But we do have the tandems out. Um, yeah, you would have seen that earlier yesterday, we got them out. And now we're just going through working out what we've got to do to, um, yeah, basically get to the important bits. Um, you can see the axles come through there. So it's a fairly decent, decent size shaft coming through there. And then we've got the crown wheel here and that. So we've just basically got to work out how we, how we get that all out and see what happens. Um, we're thinking that we might be able to just pull that that side bit out though you can see in here there's the big chains they're um yeah decent size so that's what drives each um each wheel there so we've got that happening got a little bit of tidying up to do here um and we've got a bit ready to go in with the header once we work out where we're at with the grader um because harvesters going to come up with us pretty quick I think um, so we've still got a bit to work to do with the feeder house put that all back on um, do all that sort of stuff and then we've got on the other header header number two there's a bit of work needs to happen with that as well um, so yeah we're hopefully we can get onto that soon well we've got all the bolts out here on this side what we're going to try and do we're going to jack this up obviously um, and see if we can pull that whole side off um, we're not 100% sure whether that will work, but we're giving it a try. See how far we get. So you can see here we've got the spider gears. Um, there is a little bit of just, I don't know if it's wear, but it's just a little bit of marking. Um, so we might have to look at how much it is to get new ones of them as well. Um, we've got these other gears too. That sits, that's upside down obviously, but that sits down on top of these. And then that casing goes over the top of that. So, uh, but yeah, we're definitely replacing the crown wheel. Yeah, um, you can just feel that's all all badly damaged um, everything else seemed not too bad but yeah we'll just have a look um, if we can get onto these easy and they're cheap it might be worth um, yeah putting new ones of them on too but um, we'll just see how we go yeah we've got our brake pack here so that all seems pretty good um, yeah but it actually looks like this has been a part um, it's Probably, I don't know how long ago, but it's probably been a part at some stage. Um, there's been a few telltale signs, have some markings and some writing. 
Um, we're wondering whether last time it was pulled apart and they might have even done the pinion and crown wheel and maybe just hadn't been set um, back exactly right and that could have led to this but we don't know we're just speculating but um, yeah anyway it's all out and, and ready to be fixed well this will be the last update for the day I think um, so we've just been pulling it apart further looks like the um, sun gears and the spider gears so the spider gears are down there these are the sun gears we are going to actually track down some new ones while we're in here we better better do that um, but yeah just other than that we're just cleaning through some things buffing up the surfaces you anyway, we're still still working on it have to wait for parts soon i think well guys i think that's going to be it for this video um, we've basically got the parts pretty well all organized for the grader um, it's just a matter of putting it back together and we'll have to spend a bit of time just double checking specs making sure that the backlash is right um, all the clearances are good at some point um, in previous owners whatever how many years ago we don't know um, it probably wasn't set up exactly right and that's led to the failure um, whether the backlash was too much or some sort of clearance wasn't right but um, anyway we don't want to repeat that so we'll um, yeah spend a bit of time just getting that all ready but um, that'll probably be it for the video so we'll catch you in the next one